Hey, I am Daya Samuel and I want to show you a six-step formula that's working really well to create positive permanent changes in the people I work with. This is so that you can become a more transformational leader who creates lasting results for your clients. In case you're getting to know me, I am Daya Samuel and I'm the author of the Limitless Courage and Confidence, Evidence-Based Strategies for Overcoming Fear and Living Free from Anxiety. And I'm also the creator of the Fear Resolve Process. Now, what I want to show you is a six-step formula that has been working really, really well to create positive permanent changes in the people I work with and how you two can use it with the clients that you work with. I will wait a second so that you can grab a paper and a pen so that you can at least jot down some things from what you are going to be learning from this video right here and now. Great, fantastic. I want you to imagine this scenario. What if you were suddenly recognized as a global expert and authority who has results to show in your field? What if you become very powerful that people desperately seek you out to solve complex problems for them? I want you to imagine right now that you were faced with a case and in less than 10 minutes you are able to create a huge shift in that client. Sounds impossible? Well, I used to think so until it happened to me. Philip Chesterfield, an 18th century British statesman, once said, Advice is seldom welcome and those who want it the most always like it the least. One of my friends has an interesting behavior. Whenever we talk, his way of interacting with me is to give me advice. I think he does this because it's intelligent and has a lot of practical experience. Plus, he's really a nice guy, he has a good heart, and I think he's also just trying to be helpful. But what's hard is the fact that he offers advice even when I haven't asked for it. Now, this often seems off target as if he doesn't know what he is actually talking about. And he's not the only person I know who's quick to offer advice like that. I know coaches, counselors, and even therapists who only need to hear a case and zap, they snap on the advice giving garment, doling out every tactic, strategy, and idea they could spin off. I think people give advice with a good spirit. They are just trying to be helpful and give value, right? But in my experience, advice can be a risky business, and I don't think most people appreciate this. Most people don't want more content they want results. For one thing, people who are having a bad day or who are dealing with trouble may not want your advice. They may want you to hear them out while they vent and for you to be a sympathetic here. Another issue is that it's hard to solve another person's problem. People always have their own answers. You just need to help them uncover those answers so that they can actually apply the answers for themselves one because they have the background information related to the problem you don't two because it's their life not yours and much of what's going on is unknown to you which is why when you offer advice or motivate someone sometimes the other person looks at you in a funny way and say what where are you coming from and that's the interesting thing for those who are more cultured and want you to feel good and make you feel like you have actually delivered value to them, they will thank you and promise you that they will do what you say, but for most times, they don't and even they won't. So, why does that happen? Why does it seem like you give a lot of advice, you motivate people, you encourage them, you tell them what to do, but they don't ever get to do it? And for some, they actually start doing it, but they leave off <laughs> without completing what you actually told them to do. Well, it comes down to this because advice is just advice. You see what I did there? It is easy to take advice, but not often the solution to the real problem. In fact, oftentimes we are more frustrated with the advice they give than before they added their two cents, like many people we say. So, we've all been there before. Think back real hard right now. What in particular helped 
or irritated you about some advice someone or people gave you? Did they say you should have done something differently which wasn't very useful after the fact that the thing has happened? Did they tell you to stop feeling sorry for yourself because other people have bigger problems? Did they offer some platitudes or cliche advice that sounded impossible to follow? If you are like me, we are on a journey to help our clients get real results. And talking about results, there are four ways you can get your clients results. And I'm going to walk you through the four ways you can get them results right here and now. Number one, by doing it for them. When you do, when you take on a client's problem like this, it takes your time and energy and you also avoids your client's growth because your clients won't grow in the process. Number two, you can teach them how to do it. This way, you have the tendency to overwhelm them with information. Of course, as I said earlier on, when you overteach, you overwhelm, isn't it? Number three is doing it with them. Coaching is what it means to do it with them. And it's about taking people from where they are to where they want to be. Especially in the direction of what matters most to your clients. And this is where you can begin to create specific changes and results for them. Number four is to get them into an environment where the result is inevitable. I mean, where they can't practically not get results. This is where I am trying to get you with this thing I want to show you right now. And so, I have put together a six-step framework to help you go from a coach, counselor, or therapist who just gives advice to becoming a more powerful, transformational leader who creates permanent positive changes in your clients who does this by getting them into an environment where the result is inevitable. Now, let me walk you through the six steps very briefly, then I'll give you an invite to join me in this last, in this next stream of lasting transformation. So, as I said, there are six steps. But I'm going to walk you through five steps right now. And I'm doing that specifically. So there's at least one other step that you don't know about until you join Last Transformation. That's when you know that. Isn't that interesting? Mysterious. Ha ha ha. So step one, master your personal superpowers. Now what does it mean to master your personal superpowers? Before you can change anybody, before you can create change for any other person, you need to know how to change yourself. Now, when I talk about mastering your superpower or changing yourself, I'm talking about tapping into your personal superpowers, deepening your capacity, your ability, your confidence, your competence in influencing and creating change for yourself primarily. Of course, you cannot give what you don't have, right? Step two, master leadership and influence. In order to effectively lead and influence someone, you need to know what already influences them. When you know this, you begin to understand what drives them to do the things they do. You begin to understand why they think the way they think, why they act the way they act. And then number three, when you are able to understand that, you can then begin to create strategic interventions. And by strategic interventions, how do I mean? How do you know when to coach a client or take them through therapy? How do you know what tools to deploy when you have a case at hand? Here's the thing. Before you can get someone to change, you must first find a position that creates the most impact where change is immediately inevitable and applicable and leverageable with your clients in ways that make transformation simple, straightforward, and easy. Step four. Learn to apply behavioral change sequence. Now, this is a sequence that I deliberately created after working with several people. As I usually say, in the process of working with people, I discovered that every behavior follows a sequence. There's something that starts the behavior and there's something that ends that behavior. So, the behavior is only the last part that you see. Something has preceded, something has happened. There's an, always a precedent. So what if you learn to work with a behavioral sequence where you know exactly what led a client to behave a certain way? Now, as I began to work with people, I developed a unique evidence-based behavioral change sequence, which has served as a template for solving complex problems such as 
addictions, social anxiety, pornography, procrastination, masturbation, self-esteem, blaming, fault finding where people just start finding fault in people, the bad negativity bias in their brains is always activated. Or maybe it's even conflict where they always get into a conflicting situation with other people. Here's the thing. To change any habit or behavior, you must first change the keystone and interrupt the patterns. When you are able to do this, your client will find it difficult to return to their previous negative behaviors. Step 5 is to deploy what I call advanced change methodologies. This is simple actually. It is not complex. This is basically creating change for your clients on a deeper level. Let me share some of the messages I've received from the people I have worked with in the past. Now, this is some time ago. I decided not to share there because they are more past than even recent. So this is one person who says, I had the opportunity of meeting Daya somewhere yesterday and it was a defining moment for me. I've been on a soul search journey for a while and yesterday I got answers to some things. So there's a lot happening in your brain and these things are the real you. Until you find them, you'll be living less. And then this other person says that, thank you for yesterday's class. What was more shocking was that I didn't expect to know certain th- mysteries surrounding my marital life in the class dealing with fear. Imagine, I've been in shock since yesterday. And this person says, my message was to say thank you for helping me gain clarity. I thought I had a fear of marriage, but I've realized otherwise. So can you see that? Now, what would it be like for you if you had access to the exact knowledge, skills, and abilities that let you cut straight to the heart of a case? so that you can create long-term transformation rather than short-term change. What I just gave you is an overview of the exact system I have used to create all of these transformations for all of the clients I have worked with since 2016 up till now. And now that you know exactly what to do, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. This is your invitation to lasting transformation. Let me take you by the hand and walk you through exactly what you need to do every single time so that you can create permanent, radical, life-transforming changes in your clients. Now, consider these three powerful scenarios. Higher satisfaction, basically coming from the fact that you wake up every day feeling head over ears in love with the work you have committed your life to. Second case scenario, when you begin to have better response and results from your clients because you now experience deeper impact and connection with them and you serve them in alignment with your biggest and deepest purpose. Scenario number three, better positioning because people always struggle to you that you always deliver results for your clients. I mean, you want to attract clients who are open and receptive to doing the work to create transformation rather than those who are waiting for you to heal them. So imagine when you have better positioning, you are able to create better results, you are able to get higher satisfaction from the fact that you work with people. Now, all it takes for you to do all of this plus get into lasting transformation is just 25,000 Naira. I started coaching and working with people in 2010 and then professionally in 2014. But it was not up till 2016 that I began to create multiple frameworks for getting specific results for people. Now, by that 2016, I had gone through coaching myself, I had gone through training. So I began to learn, okay, there is a way that this thing works, there is a way that this thing will not work. And I began to put them together, I began to test them out gradually, gradually, gradually. And people usually come back and say things like they didn't expect they would make such changes in a short amount of time. I mean, up to that point, I struggled to break the motivation and advice barrier. I would motivate, I would advise, but people would not get the result. In fact, I would come up with 30 ways to do something and then 30 days later, no results. And I'm like, what? Of course, as I said earlier on, when you overteach, you overwhelm and because i thought that was what was required to change people i was doing it because that was all i knew then 
But it was when I began to change my strategies, when I began to change the way I approach helping people, the way I approach working with people, that I began to create a really radical changes in, in a short amount of time that I began to create lasting transformation for people. That, in fact, I used to think that when I taught them enough or gave enough advice or encouraged or motivated them enough, they would change. As Galileo Galilei once said, we cannot teach a person anything. We can only help them find it within themselves. So imagine you have the capacity to help people find answers from inside themselves to help them uncover answers that matter on every single case they approach you with. So in late 2016, I began using these same steps to design my programs and the stuff I was putting out. And they followed the same formula I'm giving to you right now. Now, I would have 12 people in a small group coaching program and 11 would radically have life-changing results. I mean, I would run a training or speak for a large group and they would say they could not leave their seats because I was speaking deeply to them. And oftentimes, they remember their encounters with me long, long time after the original incidents. Now, imagine that. So, see this for example. Let me show you an example right here. Now, here's someone who was sexually addicted. I mean, sexually addicted. She could not go without sex <laughs> for a very short amount of time. Let me not get to all the details. But she came back and then one year later, she said, Mr. Dyer, thanks for the advice you gave me last year. Now, she used advice and she said last year. So, yeah, you know that spread over one year. She could not go back to the behavior she used to have. Do you understand that? She says, I've not had sex at all since the beginning of the year. Do you understand that? Now, here's another person who says, I am still reaping the fruits of that fear resolve program. It was a game changer for me. Now, do you get that? This was exactly a year after they have each taken two different programs. Do you get what I'm explaining here? So, I've used this exact lasting transformation approach to work with hundreds of clients and customers and I'm giving it to you right now with just 29 other people. I mean, I'm very selective with the way I want to work with people to walk them through how I've been able to do this in the past and how I'm currently doing it right now. But it gets better. Lasting transformation runs entirely online. So you don't need to transport or sit for hundreds of hours in a class. I mean, this also means that you can implement everything you would learn globally with clients all around the world. So you won't need to physically need to see a client before you can actually deploy the things you would learn. You can practically apply it even virtually with any clients all across the globe. Now, lasting transformation comes with a zero risk guarantee. You either love it or you keep it for free. Do you get that? You either love it or you keep it for free. Lasting transformation is normally worth 100,000 Naira. But for today and for this enrollment, this current enrollment, you can join today for a one-time payment of 25,000 Naira. And as I just mentioned, we are only taking 30 people because we want to keep this small enough so I can personally pay attention to you and so that we can keep this formula for a little while longer. That's because we don't want it to become bastardized yet. So that people don't go around brandishing it everywhere that ah, I'm certified in this or I'm this, I'm this, I use this tool, I do that and all that. You understand how it could be, right? So this is why we are keeping it very, very small to just 30 people. 30 people who create radical lasting transformation for clients that would go a long way in changing the lives of people all across the globe so with the discount and the love it or keep it guaranteed i've just given you you can be sure that you cannot lose anything so go ahead right now click the button below this video right now to lock in your spot and i'll be waiting for you to welcome you inside lasting transformation when the program begins this is dio samuel once again telling you to live without limits. Thank you for joining me. And again, join me in lasting transformation and I'll be glad to walk you through every single thing that I have done and shared with you right here. So, 
cut you 